Good morning. Kia ora. Hola. It's almost Christmas. And uh, man, where has 2017 gone? It's just crazy, isn't it? And around here at City Bible Church, this has been a year about love. Our focus has been on uh, God's love for us and what it means for us to love Him and to love others. We, we started this year um, with, that, with that prayer of Paul's where he's praying for people, for us, that we would know and grasp God's love. And, and it says some crazy things. It talks there about knowing God's love, which is unknowable. And then it talks about grasping how wide and, and how long and how high and how deep his love is. It's saying it's a love that's so humongous you can't get your hands around it. And yet we decided this year to know and grasp his love, to know the unknowable, to grasp the unreachable. And yet in so doing, we've come to know his love a little more, come to grasp how his love might impact our lives a little more, and begun to explore what that love looks like through us. But, but now as we come to Christmas, we come to the end of our year. And it is a time when we ref reflect back on the year past and we rest. But it's especially a time when we remember. We remember Jesus. We remember Jesus is the one that takes this unknowable love and makes it knowable to us. That Jesus is the one that takes what's beyond our reach and he places this wide and long and high and deep love within our reach as he comes and lives amongst us. And, and I was just this morning thinking about Christmas, thinking about the first Christmas, about how that people were waiting for the coming of Jesus, the Messiah, the promised one. They were, they were so excitedly waiting, but then patiently waiting and wondering would it come in their lifetime? I mean, for Mary, she was the most expected one, and she knew it was going to come in her lifetime. She's counting down the months, then the weeks, then the days, then even the hours to the coming of Jesus. But I think of the wise men, that they're in search of the newborn king. They're looking for this promised one that they've seen the sign of in the sky. I think of Anna and Simeon, who are prayerfully looking for the promised one. And, uh, and, and when you think of all these ones who are expectant, who are waiting for him to come and be with them, suddenly Jesus arrives, even as this little baby, and they're filled with joy. As somehow there's this unexplainable reality of Emmanuel. God is with us. And how loved were they to be able to be there at the time when God came to be with them. How loved are we that, that Jesus is our Emmanuel, that he came to be with us, and that now as people who know him, he has left his spirit to be in us. Man, that Christmas is a time of love. It's a time of coming. But I also think about Jesus. It's like he came and he lived and he loved and he gave his life, and then that was a time of going. He went. He left this planet, but he said, I'm coming again soon. And we wait for his coming again, even this Christmas. Th this week for me has been a week of coming and going. It's, it's weird, like in our relationships so often, it's, it's sort of like bittersweet. People coming, great joy and love, and then having to say goodbye and people leaving. And like that's what my week's been like. My One of my sons, Jay, he came up from Wellington on Tuesday and he's here for Christmas. It was such a joy to see him arrive. And he arrived into the cafe and I would have given him a hug and, and to be welcome. So looking forward to you coming. And then uh, Octo's partner, Kitty, arrived from Sydney and so great to welcome her and to have her come. But then last night I had to take Octaves and Kitty to the airport and say au revoir to them as they headed on off to Paris where they are arriving to family, which is going to be very exciting. But for me, it was sad to say goodbye and know they're not going to be here at this special season. But then something incredible happened last night. Like I'm in the garage and I'm wrapping presents up after I've dropped Octaves and Kitty off in Auckland. I'm wrapping presents and Jay comes in and says, Dad, you've got to come to the lounge. And I'm like, no, no, I'm wrapping presents right now. So like, no, you've got to come now. So I... I rock on into the lounge and I just stand there and then there in front of me, like this far away, unbelievable. It's one of my other sons, Jordan. He's right there. And I'm just like, ah, uh, ah, uh, you're here? And you see, Jordan 
He's been traveling around for about 20 months and he's meant to be on a plane between Thailand and France where he's meeting Octaves and Kitty for Christmas with Octaves' family. That's the plan. It wasn't even in the realms of possibility that he would be home and yet here was Jordan in my lounge. He had come. He was with us. He filled us with so much joy. Now, we knew he was coming sometime in the next year or two. There had been talk that maybe he might even come in February for a short time, and we were anticipating that, hoping that that would happen. But we had no idea that he was coming last night. And you know what? In that moment, I felt so loved by Jordan, that he would plan things, that he would arrange things, that he would travel, that he would arrive, that he would be here to be with us for Christmas. So loved. And this morning I got thinking about that and thought, man, how loved are we that Jesus would plan everything out and that he would make all the arrangements and then that he would arrive on the planet at just the right time to show us his love. I feel so loved by Jesus this Christmas because he came here for you, for me. And I, and I want to say this Christmas as you remember Jesus and his coming, but also the fact that he's coming again, know this that this Christmas, He loves you. He loves you. He loves you with an unknowable, beyond your reach kind of love, but He puts it within your grasp. And He would say, I love you and nothing can separate you from my love. I am for you. I am with you. I will never leave you. I love you. Man, remember that this Christmas. You are greatly loved. And, uh, and enjoy this gift that's been given to us. Jesus, our Emmanuel. Fear not. God is with you. God is for you. See you later. Have a great Christmas and see you in the new year.